Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. What is the answer to the following problem? There's a negative sign and then three squared. The answer choices are nine, negative nine, plus or minus nine, or none of the above. Now you may think this is a very simple problem that 100% of people would get the correct answer. But here's a little bit of context. I found a research paper by Peter Glidden titled Prospective Elementary Teachers' Understanding of Order of Operations. According to the abstract, 78.5% of subjects use the incorrect order of operations to compute the opposite of 3 squared. So it's very important we go over the order of operations. Now for a little bit of more context, I did ask this question to my YouTube community page. The poll garnered over 110,000 responses, and I was pleasantly surprised that the overwhelming number of people, 76%, did get the correct answer of negative nine. But that does mean about 24% of people picked incorrect choices. So let's try to see why the answer is negative nine. We can remember the order of operations by the acronym PEMDAS, which refers to parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction. You could also remember it as BODMUS, where parentheses has the analog of brackets and exponents has the analog of orders. If you have two operations of the same precedence, you want to evaluate them from left to right. So that would be multiplication division or addition subtraction. Now in this question, the only real thing we have to do is look for the exponent or order and calculate that first. So we have three squared and that gets evaluated first to be equal to nine. So substituting that in, this becomes negative nine. And that is the correct answer. Now, if you wanted confirmation of this, you could input this into Google. And what I find very interesting is that Google will show you to put the parentheses with the three square to evaluate that first. So this is the opposite of three squared, and that does give you the answer of negative nine. You could also put it into your phone calculator. The Android phone calculator does give you the answer that the opposite of three squared is equal to negative nine. Now in America, this is actually taught in schools. So here is a textbook called Pre-Algebra and Applied Approach. The opposite of three squared is an example and it shows you that you should evaluate three times three first, that becomes nine, and then the opposite of three squared is equal to negative nine. So why is this even important? So imagine you have a function f of x equal to the opposite of x squared. Now this would be graphed as a parabola that's pointing downward. So if you had x is equal to three, then f of x would be the opposite of three squared. And for sure, f of three would be equal to negative nine, and you would have the point three comma negative nine. So it is important to understand that the exponent takes place before this opposite sign. As you learn more advanced math, this also takes place in the equation for the standard normal bell curve, one divided by the square root of two pi, e to the power of the opposite of z squared all over two. So in this case, it is the opposite of z squared. So it is important to understand how to solve this problem, and I hope we soon get 100% of people getting the correct answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.